my god. What the fuck? I just looked oh. up from my water and saw Patrick hovering in midair. Okay, I'm okay. I was stuck there for a second. He's just dancing. Ahoy there, Patrick. You're a mighty big boy. Why don't you come on over to Joel White's anchor and give him a big old hug? I am very uncomfortable right now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Even Patrick's like, I don't know if I trust this Joe. He's <laughs> like, Mr. Krabs, you sound a bit different. <laughs> They're poop decks, me boy -o. I want to grab me customers in their poop decks, me boy -o. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. I don't trust Joe White Krabs. Get as far away from you as possible. <laughs> oh, I'm right in the poop deck, me boy -o. Just Would where Joe White Krabs likes it. Oh. <laughs> Would you mind going a bit higher, me boy -o? <laughs> Hello, everyone. My name is Fabulous Fish. And I'm Katatui101. <laughs> and welcome back to Let's Play SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bomb Rehydrate. Oh. We have a new robot here. Ooh, the tartar sauce. Yeah, this is the tartar robot. He looks angry. He is angry. Like, really determined. Why does oh, he have those? He was angry because I was to clip into existence. Yeah, that's a good point. Why did Plankton program these to specifically attack those three people in Bikini Bottom? <laughs> I want him to attack that unibrow kid. I think there the unibrow kid's in cahoots with them. I feel like that's Plankton's oh, son. Oh, no. Plankton's son is a fish. So this guy's kind of an asshole, but I do like the robot design here, you know? Yeah, so, he's like... Mm, he has projectiles. Like oh, they show you. Yeah, they show you where he goes with the... Uh, oh, I kind of like that, actually. The reticule. I'm mixed on it. On the one hand, I do like that because they'll stop some bullshit deaths. On the other hand, that might make it a little too easy. I'll just see how it plays out. Mm. I don't know. I like it because I'm stupid. Oh, look, it's it's a meat. 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 <laughs> Wasn't he Pearl's boyfriend or something? Was uh, it? No, a younger, a younger one oh, who okay. had like an afro. This is like a guy in a suit. Mr. Long Tan and Handsome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this, <laughs> is, just bald. this is old tan and washed up. <laughs> <laughs> Not the same guy, Katie. Oh, no. Not even close. Is it his son? <laughs> or his, is that his dad? I don't know. I feel like all the meeps look the same. Katie, is, that's is that racist. racist. That's racist. <laughs> hey, jellies. Don't hurt him. I won't. I won't hurt. Not a single jellyfish will be harmed in this Let's Play. I Good. swear to you. Good. Not one of them. <laughs> Not even indirectly. I won't. This here is kind of a... I'm not sure why this is here. I don't... I always hated this part. I don't know There's why. no reward for doing this other than the shiny objects you get from the tiki's. Like, yeah. I, I feel like this should give you, like, a sock or something. Nothing. No, there's literally nothing. It's just the shiny objects here. I recommend you try to shoot them, like, when they're uh, turning the other way because they have, like, mm. a brief period where they like, kind of hang in place. Yeah. And then before we switch to being SpongeBob, who I do want to go back to, we have a little challenge here we need Patrick for. Hello, Patrick. Hello, Patrick. For, you to do. for you specifically. Oh, boy. <laughs> so excited. Would you mind eradicating Joe White, Mr. Krabs, over there? I don't trust him. I want to know what he did with me, with my boyfriend, the real Mr. Krabs. He wanted to hit me with a rake. <laughs> Joe White Krabs. <laughs> I don't trust this Joe White. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't either, Mrs. Pop. I. Okay, we make fun of Joe White. But, like, I legitimately want Joe White to guest star in this series. Yeah. Like, he seems like a cool guy, honestly. I, just, I like, think he's funny. I'm just having fun. Like, I don't mean any harm. Yeah, I think he's great. He's got, he's got like, a pretty good sense of humor. Like, he... Oh, jeez. I saw him say somewhere that he, like, recognized that his performance in this game wasn't good. And it's not. Yeah, but at least, like, he oh, I recognized I still pick that. him up. People so, were being so mean to him, though. Oh, poor Joe White. We had to just draw the uh, water pumps around here in order to yeah. uh, drain the lakes and get the special underneath it. Mm hmm Bam. And I think it's the last. Last. Trying, did that did not look like that hit me at all. Am I crazy? No, no, it didn't really look like it. Ow! Damn. I actually kind of wanted to get hit there because our first attempt at recording this, when uh, we did this part, one of the rows hit me when I was like mid carrying another, and the one I was carrying just got stuck, suspended in the air. Oh yeah, that was weird. I was like, this game is so broken. Oh god, look out! He's coming for you. He's like oh, right behind you. Bam! He blew to smithereens. <laughs> oh what happened to the row machine out there? I don't know. Kind of a uh, disappointed by this actually. They didn't play the battle music for that sequence. Oh yeah, with the beat. Yeah, it's a little disappointing. Also, the uh, row up machine there uh, wasn't in the original. In the original game, what happened was the uh, the what you call it, the pumps were spawning the robots. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which I mean, I don't really care either way. I kind of think it makes more sense for the machine to be spawning them. Yeah. How come those jellies aren't attacking Mrs. Puff? They only care about the main characters. Mrs. <laughs> <laughs> <This is> Puff. No. <laughs> no. Just so matter of fact. He will not have a cookie. I'm going to go back to being SpongeBob just because, like, he's more playable. Oh, camera. I agree. But Patrick is, like, he's funnier. Patrick is funnier, but, like, SpongeBob just, like, controls better. Yeah. I wish he could play as Mr. Krabs in this game, but I... not not if Joe White's doing him. <laughs> and then uh, this here is actually the other Tiki that introduced in the hub. This is the formal instructions. This is the shh Tiki. 
the shtiki. You have to sneak up on it in order to destroy it by going really slowly, which mm -hmm. I couldn't figure out how to do as a kid because I played this entire game using the D-pad. Oh my god, did you hate yourself? No, um, I don't know why. I played this, Night of Hundred Frights, Bionicle the game. Like, all the games we were playing, I played with only a D-pad up until Piglet's Fit game. <laughs> oh my god. That was the first game I used an analog stick for. You're like, what have I been missing? I 100 percent this game with a D-pad, and there are, like, parts of this game that, like, I have no idea how I got through without the <laughs> stick. I'll have to show you <laughs> a little yeah, later. Yeah, Especially, like, the rock bottom area. Oh my god. Oh, look at this. Look at this chain rash I'm gonna set off here. Ooh, Bro, yes. let's go back. <laughs> oh my god, their and guts just went bam. flying. <laughs> Wow. That was beautiful, wasn't that? Yeah. Get I want an here. instant replay of that. I kind of wish that Patrick could actually beat those guys in one hit. Yeah. It has like a Mario 64 DS syndrome where like the strong character is completely underutilized in this game. Oh, yeah. How like how Wario was kind of useless in that game because the enemies all like kind of went down the same with every character. I feel like Patrick should be able to take out multi-hit robots in one hit. Yeah. They just give you like more incentive to play as him, I feel like. Mm. Can I make that jump? I think you probably could. Oh. Barely. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, watch this. Watch this. As I recall. Oh, wait, wait. Wait, that didn't kill him? They didn't. Why did that not... That was it's, an explosion! It's a fire explosion, but he's like, eh, I'm okay. In the original, that totally would've taken him out at one hit. Yeah. Um, but anyway, this area does, like, a lot of really cool things by, like, utilizing the shh tiki's and the thunder tiki's together. <laughs> Look how happy he is that you killed them. Cowboy beat bops back. <laughs> he's knocked his hat off. Good. <laughs> Why Good. you hate his hat? I, because he's trying to take Sandy from Spongebob. Mm. Spongebob does not approve of this, ruining his, like, his love life like I mean, that. I always thought that Spongebob had a huge crush on Sandy. Oh, yeah. So. The first, like, couple seasons, it was totally there. Yeah. Um, this is something else we can't do until later in the game. Kind of like the bowling in the first part of Jellyfish Fields. We need to come back with the Cruel's Bubble move here. Spoilers. I know. And he was really weird. What? There's these two things in Jellyfish Fields, and there's one thing in the second level, and after that, every other level in the game can be 100% your first time through. <laughs> Why did they do it like that? Yeah. That seemed just kind of like, like, what was the point of making you backtrack to these like, two areas? <laughs> just seems a little, like, unnecessary, you know what I mean? Yeah, I get you. So, like, look at this. You have to, like, go here, set the tiki, and then leave, set the shh tiki spring back up, and you can get that one, too. Oh, that's so fun. I know, isn't that just, like, kind of cool? Yeah. It, it's cute. It's I like fun. that. It's very creative. I just enjoy everything about this game, except for the knockback. That knockback is terrible. I yeah, remember that when I played it. Die a lot of times because an enemy will hit you off the edge. Like I feel like mm -hmm. most of the time you don't lose all your health. It is more like you just kind of like get screwed over yeah. by like, being hit off the edge of things. Especially because half the time you can't see the enemies. I feel like when they're right on top of you. Yeah. Die, die. There we go. The duplicator. The duplicatron or whatever. And this here is actually the final time tiki in the game. The stone tiki. Yeah, this is the stone tiki. It cannot be destroyed with regular moves. The only way to break it is with an explosion, like with the thunder tikis, mm -hmm. or to throw yeah, another stone tiki at one. So Patch oh. can break him that way, too. Okay. He's a strong boy. He's a strong... Do you want to see the strong man? <laughs> oh, I want to see the strong man. <laughs> watch this. Watch this, like, giant wall just be obliterated. Ooh. Bam. And? Oh, God, the slowdown. I know, that was so satisfying. satisfying. I like that. I enjoy a little bit of slowdown in games, like maybe yeah. a big explosion. Or like in Yoshi's Island when you collect oh. all the coins. Yeah, that was always really nice. All right, um, I do have to platform out there. I'm jump on that oatmeal cookie. Are these things supposed to be in sync with each other? I feel like these are supposed to be in sync with each other. Huh. That's... Can you make that jump? No, I don't think I can. Um, probably one more cycle I can get through. Because yeah. it looks like the one in the middle is going quicker. Yeah. All right, and... Oh. There it comes. There's not going to be enough time, though. No. Oh, God. <sighs> Are these supposed to be in sync with each other? All right. This time I can definitely do it. Yeah. There they go. Yeah, That's I see. That's weird. It's like they're going different every time. Uh, it's because the one in the middle is going faster than the ones on the outside. Okay. So they were out of sync with each other, which means I'm going to have to wait before I can get back. Actually. Oh, perfect. Yes. <laughs> nice. You got lucky <clears throat> that time. And I don't think it's worth trying to get that purple down there. Yeah. In the original version of the game, I would just suicide bomb to get it. But, like, oh, given that there's a loading screen when you die in this version, I don't Oof. think it's worth the uh, hassle. Yeah. And through here we Look, there's Mr. Puff. Hello, SpongeBob. I wish I could, like, throw something out of up here. Why? I just like to torture NPCs. I don't <laughs> know why. What's wrong with Mrs. Puff? I think that came from the LEGO Star Wars games. Oh, I thought it was L.A. Noir. Um, no, L.A. Noir was my favorite game to do that in. I don't think it was the first game I did that in, though. I feel like that came from the LEGO games. Oh, uh, that's so funny. I guess they want you to be to be Patrick for this, but uh, I'd just rather be SpongeBob. 
He's better. If we ever did do a Lego game, um, we'd have to do that to you, player. Oh, yeah. Did I? I played that with you before. Yeah. Like the Wars. problem is um, I always 100% my games, mm -hmm. and 100%ing the Lego games is kind of a bitch. Honestly, uh, not going to lie. God, well, it could just be a side series. Perhaps. Maybe, but like, like, live stream or something. But, like, I feel like not that many people 100 percent of those games. Yeah, maybe yeah. it was, like, a live stream we could do it, because yeah. we could, like, interact with the chat whenever commentary gets dull. Yeah. Look at how pretty everything looks in this game. I know. Do you see that? That thought fish right oh there? Oh my god, she, look at her. She is a thought. <laughs> She's such a thought. What do you think her name is? Her name's probably like like Jade. Jade? Yeah, or something. Oh, like damn a it. Thought name. Or Holly. Alright, we're back. I guess you're too distracted by her good looks. Um, I I guess. <laughs> I am called Fabulous Fish after all. <laughs> oh my god. Kenny got she... put that in his exposed video. Oh no. Kenny Box has been telling me for like three months he's gonna make a video about me called Fabulous Fake where he exposes me. <laughs> And I'm still waiting, Tenny. Like, please, I'm I'm begging you. You gotta get on that, Tenny. I really wanna know what he's gonna do with that. <laughs> Coming down here for yet another sock. Coming we can get that butter cookie. <laughs> we can get every sock in uh, this level, Jellyfish Fields, except for two our first time through. Aw. The two being ones that you need to come back later with uh, other powers, so. Yeah, okay. Like, uh, we, we cruise, saw the, the cruise bubble. Cruise bubble and the other one for the bowling. Yeah. Which is literally just a bowling ball. <laughs> I like the bowling. Actually, oh. bam. Oh, I love the bowling ball. This guy's an asshole. Like, trying to get oh, over God. here can be difficult because he likes to shoot you out of the air. Yeah. Bam. Oh, oh wow. Oh, he my God. Right in the water. He went down with a vengeance. You see, he <laughs> shot back up at me. He's like, you'll never get away. <laughs> like I'll never take me coppers. <laughs> I guess this is, is here to get that purple shiny object from earlier. Oh, but right. I feel like it's not worth it to play in client as Patrick. Yeah. I'd just rather be SpongeBob. <laughs> Patrick just isn't, like, fast enough. No, he just, like, his gameplay is, like, too slow-paced. Even... What? Go, go. E even then, I feel like Spongebob's a little too slow. He is. I mean, the third character is my favorite. Yeah. Look at this baguette. I think I was hungry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry about that interruption. Everyone, we're back now. Just running on a baguette. This does kind of look like a baguette. It even has, like, a bread texture on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, does it, though? Ooh. All right. I think we're almost on this level. Yeah, I think we're pretty close to the... The end of the, yeah. the end of the room. Yeah. Now that would normally be where the end of the episode is. Although this uh, jellyfish shields actually has an extra room to it. Although it's pretty small, so let's show it off mm -hmm. in this video. Yeah, why not? Blow up a wall of thunder tiki's. Yeah. Super monster. It's so depressing that that's the biggest combo. I know. I want that the super ultra mega monster combo. I know. It's called. <laughs> it's just a shame. It's just like, why would they change something like that? Yeah. You know? Um, so you can go down there, or you can go up here to this little area for literally oh, no reason. Look at that cute little cave. I love it. I like the cork there. Kind of reminds me of uh, Noki Bay from Mario Sunshine. Oh, it does remind me of that. You I... just like plug up the. Uh, yeah, I love the areas the of Mario Sunshine. No, I do too. Um, I'm not a huge fan of that game, honestly. Like, not gonna lie, that game makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> Great sense of atmosphere. Good ideas. Not good execution at all. But I, I always wonder what the point of that area up there was. It's just cute, I guess. So this is my least favorite mechanic from the original oh. version of this game, the wall jump. Oh god. Which, in the original game, it was scripted and awkward, but also not really scripted. <laughs> it just kind of controlled like ass and felt completely unfinished. Let's see what they did to it here. It looked better. That was better. It was actually way more scripted, but like, it was scripted enough that it worked, unlike the original mm -hmm. where like, it was just a fucking mess. <laughs> yeah. Because it was I'm like sure. a half-ass script. It wasn't like really scripted, you know? Yeah. But from what I wasn't the one playing it, but from what I saw, that looked okay. It was doable, which is yeah. better than the original. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what the? Did that just stick to the tree? I guess. Oh my god, push him off the cliff. I hate Bam. that guy. Oh, he just oh, blew up place. Probably because he hit a scooter there. Yeah, I didn't even see scooter. <laughs> just jam him back and... No, scooter, oh, don't do it! Edge. Don't do it, you don't want to do this, man. <laughs> He's crying. look off the edge and dab? <laughs> Wow. So Fucking normally tool. then this would be the end of this episode. But I think we should go on to the next area. Yeah. <laughs> can we just go in? We can right literally now? just go. What is the point of this? I don't know, but it's kind of beautiful. Why <laughs> is that in the game? Just go back to the previous area. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that an option? I'm so confused. Bubble buddy. Bubble, bubble buddy. buddy. <laughs> I want him to say bubble buddy the first way. Jellyfish is just up at the top of this path. People be careful. You'll need it. Thanks, Bubble Buddy. Are you gonna help me, Bubble Buddy? No? Hey! Oh, look, it's the baguette. Ew, it has mold on it now. Uh, I guess it was sitting out too long. Just in between the last room and this. Well, it is under the sea, so... I, yeah, I guess it grew algae very quickly. Yeah. <gasps> there he is. King Jellyfish. Am I allowed to kill this jellyfish? Yeah, I suppose you can. Good. He's a bad jellyfish. Spongebob's just watching him shower. He looks intrigued. Oh my god. 
<laughs> SpongeBob, are you okay? SpongeBob, what are you doing? This is so inappropriate. Oh, he just likes his voice. Oh, you know, it's pretty. It's a pretty nice voice, honestly. Not gonna lie. Is he singing the music from this area? Yeah. That's a cute time. That's what the music's been this whole time. It's just been him singing from a top of the Slap yeah. him! It's uh, slap him. What the fuck? That wasn't the original. Slap him, bop him, twist him, pull him. <laughs> slap him again. <laughs> so as I do know from playing this uh, briefly before, um, you actually need to double jump in order to get over. Oh, you can't open the teleport box yet. That's interesting. Oh. You need to double jump to get over his attack, yeah. like a shockwave attack. Only the original was just single jump. Jellies. I can't hurt his minions. I'm guessing. No. I won't. Oh god, I'm gonna make this like a lot harder than it needs to I know. be for you. Finishing slap. It's okay. You can do it without hurting a single jelly. Slapitality. I feel this is about to get. Very difficult. He's spawning the blue oh, ones now. Oh no, he's spawning bloobs. Which is interesting because the blue jellyfish are way more aggressive, and in yeah. the original version of this game, this was the first place the blue jellyfish appeared in. Oh yeah. Where we've seen them a few times in jellyfish fields already yeah. in this version. I didn't remember that. There you go, got him. Good, not a single jellyfish was hurt except for him. It's okay, he'll look how big he is, he'll live. It's more like you hurt his pride. Yeah. He's more like goddamn like peanut butter shower curtains. <laughs> Here's my jelly. I need to go on a jellyfish vacation. <laughs> Oliver has a suitcase. <laughs> he was packed already. I feel like he was heading out on vacation, just showering before he left. Get the jelly. He was just like like taking a quick shower before he left. His friend just comes and like starts terrorizing. I know. <laughs> Thank you. The first time we did this, the uh, water effect from the shower was still going down at this part, but it was just stopping at like where the surface of the water was. Yes, this game is so broken. Sometimes. I'm happy to see it didn't happen this time. Yeah. You know, I'm not happy to see all this fucking fog. Oh, don't forget the box. Oh yeah, that's right. D thanks for reminding me. Yeah. <laughs> because normally I just go down and not care because the second box opened the first one, but yeah. um, we might need to do a slide more than once. That's on a dangerous spot. Oh my god. I know. Why is there so much fog in this version? It's so ugly. Yeah. It's just like I don't think it's was it necessary. I don't think so. I don't think it was. This slide gives me anxiety. <laughs> it's only because I can't see what's coming until like, I'm on uh, top of it. I know. We're going to break from the path down here to get oh this uh, oh, I don't like it. Oh. little hidden passageway. Because you know what's down here? Oh, is it a sock? A golden sockula. A <laughs> golden... Do you just know where all the socks are off the top of your head? Uh, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> you, if you don't hit the analog stick, then the sh tiki's don't hide. But if you do hold the analog stick there, then they go away. Mm. And spatula. Sh tiki's. And see down there, the blue jellyfish? Oh, is this the only place where they were originally? This was the second and last place they appeared in the original version mm -hmm. of the game. Look at that stupid woman. Oh my god, she got electrocuted. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this looks like her dumbass husband. <laughs> oh my ew, she winked at me. Ew. Gross. Get out of here. Slap, slap her. Slap. slap her again. <laughs> Finishing slap. <laughs> slap <-tality. laughs> Hey, it's Larry. What's he doing here? <laughs> he even doesn't know. He's looking at like, what am I doing here? <laughs> See, no problem. See, no problem. You set your mind and your muscle to. What is he talking about? Larry, do you even know what I've been doing here? <laughs> he just assumes. Do you have like any purpose to be here? You're still just like, Larry, what the fuck? Larry, you've been watching me. I love when you smack me, brushes off his peck. Can you like, <laughs> can you like see where the king jellyfish was from here if you turn around? Um, like, clearly. Or... No, because there's too yeah. much fog. Yeah, that's a shame. Sladoosh. There he goes. There he goes. <laughs> there he goes. Off to the great beyond. <laughs> so long, Squidward. We hate you. <laughs> I'm back here at the start once more. So that stock there is the only thing that we could get that we haven't gotten yet, um, mm -hmm. because you need to come back with Patrick to this first area here. Oh, yeah. I don't feel like going to sit through two more loading screens to do that, so I'll probably do that when we come back here to get the other two socks we couldn't get at first time. Sure. I do know in the original version you can make it out there by jumping off the bouncy, but I don't think the jump goes far enough in this version mm, to do that. It's too bad. So shall we talk to Squidward? Yeah, give him his lotion. Oh, yeah. Oh, that feels so Is he putting it on? Anything it doesn't like look like it. Can I rub some on? Oh my god, he got so excited. <laughs> what if I just get you? Don't touch me. Get away from me. <laughs> he talks kind of like Neb. Yeah, he does. He talks like a like a lower pitched Neb. Neb. Nebulous snow Nyanka. I love Neb. I don't go outside. Ever. It's Bop. <laughs> <laughs> just go back to home and play your clarinet, Squidward. <laughs> and then with that, that is pretty much everything we do here in Jellyfish Fields, minus one sock, which is out there in the ocean. One thing I kind of like is not only does every golden spatula have a name as in the original version, but they also have like a unique uh, picture that go along with them all. Oh, that's cute. We'll probably share this off in the epilogue video. Oh god, I don't, I don't like that one. Do you see? He's just like looking there like, huh <laughs> Oh, who are we there? So probably during the epilogue, I'll show off like a slideshow of all these. Yeah, that'd be cool. But um, 
with that, I think that's pretty much everything we can do in this video. So uh, thank you all very much for watching. It's been Fabulous Fish. And Katatui 101. And join us back here for the next episode as we go on to the second level. See you there. Bye-bye.